esta coca es mi casita en México. ¿Está ahí? ¡Mira! No, no, no es. Sí, es, sí. Te sugiero que escuches a tu mujer, hombre. No debe ser cosa que pierdas más dinero como la otra vez. Oye, chivo, no me hables así. Yo corro esta pinche operación. Ella es mi esposa. No me falta el respeto. Si terminamos ese trabajo y volvemos a casa vivos y tú me vuelves a hablar así, te mato, cabrón. ¡Te mato! Enfrente hay una puerta y tiene un dream catcher y esperar a que algo pase. Esas son las instrucciones. How much do you think they're holding? The lieutenant says 40 kilos, but you think they'd be able to afford a better car like a Beamer. <laughs> ¿Cuántos pinches mandos arriba? Sí, vámonos, maneja, vámonos, vámonos. No, no, yo prefiero ir a la cárcel. And you jaded from all the hot stuff you experienced in your life. But I got to get ready for tonight. Well, you know what? One thing. Here's Bill. When you came here from Italy with that pretty ass of yours and drove. You drove up in the 1980s. What's a piece of junk called? But when you pulled up, I saw your swagger. And I knew you was gonna make me some ducats. Lots of ducats, you mean. By the way, I stopped them. So keep it for yourself. Honey, the moment her bra stopped blowing is the moment she loses her home. You know, America is as sane as the sky. 
is still the land of opportunity. I know, Jack. That's why I'm here. I reached my goal, and I'm working hard for it. Someday I'm gonna be a lawyer. And you're working hard for it. You know, Conchetta, when a man profits off another man's war, and he doesn't lift a finger, that's wisdom. That's me. Oh, nothing control everything. There you go. when you back up to a car? I'm sorry, sir. I'm I'm sorry. I mean, sorry is cool, but I mean, my abuela worked for 15 years to get me this car, and it's finally paid off. I said I was sorry. I'm going to need your details, your insurance information. You have your license? I really am sorry. Here's my driver's license. Mrs. Van Megan? Mrs. Conchetta Masconi is here to see you. Oh, you bring us yes, and you're in. Please go ahead. Thank you. I want to talk to you about the small accident. Katrina filled me in. You bumped into some pretty boy. Latino, I suspect. You know, if you would have kissed him, he might have let you off. He claims whiplash. I just can't get used to this automatic stuff, you know? In Milan, we drove fast and we drove manual. I'm gonna try to get you out of this one, okay? Try? I have faith in you. I hope I could be as good a lawyer as you someday. You're brilliant. Hello, neighbor. I would help you with your boxes. But you sued me. It was only a scratch. I dropped the lawsuit. You what? Look, the guilt was just getting to me. And when I have a primo of mine fix the car for a six pack and an ex girlfriend's phone number. So there you have it. Buenas noches, senorita. I don't speak to strangers. And sorry, I don't speak Spanish. But I guess thank you for doing that. My grandmother would kill me if I didn't learn to speak perfect English. Or if I didn't say hello to a fellow neighbor. Max Hernandez, great to meet you. I saw this on your insurance card. But Max is not such a Latino name. Mexican, you mean? My mother's German. My father, he's a hardworking Chicano. He's been in the truckers union forever. He always thought outside the box. Wanted us to, too. Well, nice to meet you, Max Hernandez. I wish you pleasant stay in the duplex. Buona notte. Wait a minute. I speak Spanish, and that sounds an awful lot alike. Italian. I was born in Italy, high school in Switzerland. We moved around a lot. My father was an alcoholic. I wanted to get away to the good old USA. You know, for not speaking to strangers, you sure reveal a lot of information. You look decent. Is that before or after I dropped the lawsuit? Your face looks honest. <laughs> I got most likely not to succeed in school. You seem to have a decent heart. <laughs> Thank you. Conchetta Mascon. Very nice to meet you, Conchetta. Buenas noches. Wait a minute, wait a minute. I mean, you don't speak Spanish, you don't speak to strangers, and you just did both. How am I ever going to trust you? Anyone can say goodnight in Spanish. Well, not as sexy as you just did. Good night, neighbor. 
Buonanotte. Non c'è da nascondere. Detective Montauk, why all the heat in the department? Look, we're seeing an insurgence of these cartels. They're inching their way up through Mexico, onto San Diego, and even in the Los Angeles streets. Now, we just don't have the budget to cover all this. Well, it's just a happy time in the department. Budget cuts and even more crime dealing with the Mexican cartel wars on the streets of Los Angeles. I mean, somebody in the city council, they've got to do something about it, and they've got to do it damn fast. Well... That's an outspoken cop with years of experience. But it never rained in California. Nothing is as it seems. Not then. I thought his conscience got to him. Some people's conscience need kickstarting. I'm just trying to loosen you up, honey. They say humor is good after someone experiences this type of trauma. Jesse, it was hell. It was pure hell. I'd never forget it. It was hell, Jesse. For real. <laughs> he is a bastard from hell. Now just relax, okay? You've been through enough already. Thank you, Jesse. I'm so happy to see someone, you know? My father so, my mother so far away in Italy. Well, I know you're my lawyer. No, contrary to popular belief, some lawyers are human. At least the ones outside Century City. No, so Jesse. One last thing to worry about. Thanks, Jesse. It's gonna be all right. 
going to be okay, girl. You're going to stay with me tonight. Solano! How you doing, dude? Lieutenant, I need your help. I know you're still pissed off about all that stuff that happened in Santa Monica, but it was 10 years ago, dude. You got to get over it, man. I need one of your CSI guys to help me. All the storage facilities are missing loads of dope. I don't know who's involved. I got no idea. You're talking about a billion dollars here. Look, it's for Los Angeles, and I know you're the best. You're even better than me. Come on, I'm not so good. If you only knew how bad I can be at things. I just work hard. That's very humble of you. I'll get Dick to call you. Dick? Yeah. Richard, that's his name. You're joking, right? No. That's his name, Dick. I'll get Dick to call you. <laughs> you are a funny guy. <laughs> not all the time. Yeah, me either. Cousin did a great job, looking good. Hey, I heard everything that happened. Are, are you all right? Heard it at your house? No, no. Last night I, I, I was at work. I had the, the late shift, 7 p.m. to midnight. I parked cars at a little theater, my old neighborhood, just, just till I finished school. Oh, so you were not here last night? Oh, of course not. If I was here, I would have found that cabron. I would have beat his head in like a piñata. I miss machismo. Reminds me of my old country. <laughs> well, Italy and Mexico, we have a lot in common. More than you know. Oh, oh uh, there's a man looking for you. Detective? Detective Solano. The cop in that car. Why do you have this card? This place was crawling with cops earlier, and after they grilled everyone, of course, they keep the Mexican-looking guy for further questioning until that rat cop over there is done with everything. I'm so sorry. No, don't be sorry, honey. This is, this is L.A., mija. Whenever there's a crime, any Mexican in the vicinity is held for questioning till the end. It's just how it is. Chingao perfecto. I heard that. So you do speak Spanish? Italian. It's almost the same. Perfetto. <laughs> uh, sir, the team is uh, having tacos at Frankie's. I'm off. I think we got it all. Also, the uh, lady of the house is here. CSI is leaving the building. Hey, hey, hey. You're no Elvis. <laughs> <clears throat> I use a detective for my case. Hey, if you want to report me, here's my badge number. Now, how long have you owned this house? I don't own. I rent. Oh, almost forgot. I should tell you that um, you have the right to have a female officer present while I question you. And uh, you also have the right to have a lawyer present. I don't need a woman, even as rude as you are. I'm sure you know your job and wouldn't risk it at such an age. Oh, jeez. You mind if I sit down? Oh, I want to get one thing straight right off the bat. If you don't answer a question, I assume that's a yes. You know where I learned that? Psych class. I'm sure you learned a lot there. Didn't they teach you that it's not appropriate to leave mustard on your tie? 
Better than ketchup. This is not starting out so well. No, you're right, it is not. Are you a prosecutor or a detective? Hey, you're very clever. Good question. Yes, I was a prosecutor from 92 to 95. You know, some things are just hard to change. Look, last night I answered all the questions the police had. Yeah, yeah, no, I know. You're from Italy and all that sort of stuff. Uh, your mother was an opera singer until she met your father. He had a drinking problem. How did you find that out? Uh, the internet. You know, it used to be uh, really special to be a detective. Hard to do. Now, anybody can do it. My father has nothing to do with this. No, I'm sure he doesn't. Uh, but your mom lost a, a, a big fortune due to your father's drinking, right? And you guys ended up living in a very humble home in, uh, in San Remo, Italy. What the hell is this? I'll tell you what this is. A person with an ax breaks through your window in the middle of the night, almost rapes you, holds a very, very sharp ax to your throat. Now, if somebody can be as diabolical to do that to you, he can do it to others. So around me, every pan gets fried. Every stone gets turned. I get your point, Salama. It's Detective Solano. That's the problem with all you young, pretty girls these days. Cross all boundaries. You've lost all respect. Am I dreaming? This can't be real. I think I've seen a few reruns from the 50s, but you jump off the screen. So how long have you been working at the strip club? Slip and slide? Yeah, whatever. It's not a strip club. It's a gentleman's club. Oh. Well, uh, have you had any uh, problems with any of the gentlemen there? Like maybe a rough lap dance or a lousy tip or... What the hell, man? Maybe I'd take that female cop. Oh, no problem. Officer Dorothy Smith, 24-7 like a donut shop. If you want something sweet. You can't be this much of an asshole to all women who go through this. I'm Italian. I don't need anyone here, Detective Solano. <laughs> I got a real handsome Latino man lives nearby. I'm sure he's not afraid about your bitch. Oh yeah, about that guy. Has uh, he ever been to your uh, gentleman's club? No. I never met him till yesterday. You know he has a record, right? No. And that's none of my business. I think a domestic violence case is your business. He grabbed his girlfriend by the hair and he dragged her across the floor while he was drunk out of his mind. Drinking? Yeah. Now, he claims he's been clean for two years, but... There you have it. Some people make mistakes when they're drunk. Actually, I could swear I smell alcohol on your jacket, Detective Solan. Can I get you a beer? Detective Solano, you don't like me, do you? When I look in your eyes, I see a man who doesn't like women. No, that's not true. I love my sister. Most people would have said their mother. Well, oh, well, we were orphans. No wonder you are angry. Oh, no, I'm not angry. I'm amazed. I tell you that someone has a record and you stand up for him. You remind me of all these Hollywood lefties where no one can do any wrong. I mean, where is the barometer for punishment around here? Detective Solano, when I was 14 years old in Italy, I knew a girl named Rosanna di Romana. She used to go out with my cousin Vincenzo. They went out one night. He told her, he didn't love her, and that he had a different lover. She was a virgin and thought they would get married. I saw her go to the police. I saw her make a complete lie about my cousin. And just because of her word alone, my cousin spent six months in jail where they investigated her claim just by her words alone. No evidence whatsoever. It was forever for my cousin. 
Yeah, I've heard of cases like that. But I mean, I, I tell you about a potential rapist and you stand up for him. But you know, I mean, I mean, six months is not that bad, is it? My cousin, hung himself with some chutes in a dirty jail. And if you think L.A. jails are bad, try Italian jails. Well, look, I'm sorry to hear about all of this, but my concern right now is here in you. I mean, no disrespect. None taken. Don't worry, I just arrived. I'm in the club now. Of course, I have the best stuff with me. And I bring two Japanese to your dancing community. Okay. Here's Gregor. How long will it take till the Japanese are here? You have my guarantee that they'll be served with the best stuff and the hottest dancing queen on the club. What about the next show for them? <laughs> you are preparing. Uh, why, why don't, don't you invite me to come, come around? Consider, sir. We won't get any while she's up there three quarter. That's for sure, Jack. Keep pouring them knee triples through the doubles. Make them back, baby. Hush on, hush on. Sir, sir, can I get the lady a triple? Look, I can shit out one more time, and I'm gonna kick your ass. of it all. It's two weeks ago and I want my mind rid of it all. These damn cops stay outside my house and I don't feel right. I mean, that bastard, whoever it was, is long gone. He ain't coming back. Probably he left the state. I wouldn't count on that, honey. Look, I make a lot of money off you, I don't lie. You know, Jack, he does not lie. I do not play the hypocrite. But I think you're safe. So either you keep the cops at your door for a while, or you move out. Or... Or? You tell the police you want him gone. Maybe you get back in the swing of things, and I'll put old school on you for a few weeks. He just got a San Quentin. He needs a job, not to mention. He owes me one, or two, or ten. Old school? All right, I have to change. Jack. 
jet. Jack, are you sure I'm making the right decision? <laughs> Turn around. <sighs> so do you think I want my star player running around with a bunch of hogs? Hog? What is a hog? It's worse than a pig. I don't like that new spit you got dancing around your garden lately, baby. Around a bunch of hogs. I like to split his head open and smash his refried bean. You're even more jealous than the Italian boys back home. Baby, daddy's hot for you, da. You used to get a good, didn't you, baby? It takes a real man to admit it. Ah, you used to get a good, you're losing a battle. Good, huh? You used to get a good. Things have changed, Jack. You can make me work for you. You can make me do coke. You can make me fuck you. <laughs> but you can't make me love you. monitoring or even relocation. But to sign this page, that means you're opening yourself up to danger. Man, I just want my life back. That's all. Oh, my favorite 50s man. Good afternoon to you too, Miss Moscone. Have you caught the SOB yet? <sighs> Guys, give me a minute here. I hear you want to uh, get rid of the police monitor. I hear you already went back to work. And I hear you went on a date with that Max, uh, the fella near your house. Yes, Daddy. But seeing a movie, it's not a date in my boat. We went only, how you Americans say, second base. Second base with a convicted woman abuser? I could use a little abusing by him. Now listen here, lady. This is not a goddamn joke. There are 299 murders, 736 rapes, 8,000 assaults, and 7,000 robberies, and on and on and on in this town. You understand? It's not a joke. You got your female here who hears all this, who's gonna protect you from Big Bad Daddy. Well, it's my job to protect you too. You got it? You're lucky we got a few cents left in the budget that they give us in this godforsaken hellhole. Our annual management costs free for detectives. I was just trying to make light. I've gone through hell. I'm still having nightmares every night. I can't think straight half the time. All the time I go outside or to work. I'm just reminded because there's a cop sitting outside at my doorstep or in the cruiser. So please, sir. Please, Detective Solano. I have some friends of friends. There's security in the car. That's a great deal. Less conspicuous. And I'll be protected. They come every night from 9 p.m. to 7 a.m. Please. Do you think a rapist gives a frick about day or night? I'm sure they would rather have some night. You know, I have no idea why you didn't take the relocation program. I moved around my whole life like a gypsy because of unfit parents. I want to stay where I am at. F you, sir. Please understand. And please. Just try to find this bastard. Let me live my life. 
I can't take it anymore. Just when I thought things would get more sadder around here. Miss Moscone, no disrespect. But we have to come and let you know. I know. Jack hired you fellas to watch after me, and I'm very appreciative. But I would rather just kind of live, you know, kind of like I used to. I mean, is that marijuana? Bosco takes a hit here and there. He just got out the joint. He drinks a little bit, do some drugs, but not the real drugs. He's well respected in the neighborhood, but we're here to protect you, Miss Moscone. Somehow I believe you. Cacheta, you okay? What the hell, Cholos? Anden pa la mierda! Please, Max. Orale, school. Hey, ya tuvo, ya tuvo, ya tuvo. And that way, can't you cholos do anything without a gun? I can't, eh, sir. Get him, old school. All right. Orale, say, old school. Hey, I've had enough drama. I don't need to shit. It's cool, homies. It's all good, okay? It's good? Are you crazy? After what just happened, it's all good? I take back what I said about Italians and Mexicans being similar. Yes. Yes. We're not. We're a lot smarter and we know when to cut our losses. And if these guys are here to protect you, they have my blessing. Miss Moscone, here's my business card. We work in the local swap meet. We got permits for our guns. We'll take care of you. I promise. We'll be watching you. Thanks, Max, for standing up for me. It's good. Too bad it was my only day off in the past month to go to the beach. If I would have known about this place before, I would have been here sooner. My father used to bring me and my sisters down here. If I had a father that loved me, my mother, on the other hand, well, she was a different story. At least you had a loving father, mine you can forget. He was always drunk. But I do care a lot about my mom. Oh my god, look. It's a couple dolphin, I think a whale. I love this place. Oh. I'm so sorry. That old school has a hell of a right hook. Ah, oh, I'm starting to bleed again. Chingo fucking bloodbath. Hey, you are always welcome in here. Don't get too crazy. I just brought you some warm tea. Chamomile, it's good for you. It calms you. Oh, mi abuela, my grandmother, used to make it. It's manzanilla for us. I know its effects. It's like a little piece of heaven. Hmm. This all happened because of me. I'm very sorry. You know, I feel very at peace in your bathroom. There's something very calming. People have said that about me. It's a great compliment. Thank you. <laughs> you really know how to take care of a man. I should have gone to Italy a long time ago. Astonishing things happen if you really care. Oh. Oh. <clears throat> Relax, big guy. I'm not ready for all that. Not yet. Good things come to those who wait. <laughs> You need some pain meds, aspirin, and I'm all out. I go to the store later. Maybe you lend me your keys so the mafia boys won't spot me and I get 15 minutes of freedom. Are you gonna be okay, Mia? Yeah. Because you've been such a good patient, I give you a helping hand. Lay back, relax. Hey, 
gotta sign in. I don't sign in. Everyone signs in. Not me. Are you not out of your jurisdiction? Yeah, sugar tips, I am. My father ran this DA holding joint for 19 years before he was gunned down in cold blood by some punk rising up the ranks. Yes, I know, sir. His throat was found cut, and his body found in four different pieces at an Italian deli in North Hollywood. Everyone knows the story, sir. So move the fuck out of my way. Sex is best. Sex is best. Yeah, you're right. Maybe I am. But when my father ran this place, this DA holding joint, not one ounce of blow was gone. Not one ounce of coke was missing. And there wasn't one cop corrupt enough to have two houses in Culver City. I'm trying to straighten this joint out. You got it? So, uh, where are you from, uh, Armenia? How long have you been here? Since I was 10 years old, sir. Why? You love this country? I mean, really, do you love it? So what happened to the truck, Donnie? It was full yesterday with H. Now it's empty. Yeah, it's empty, huh? Somebody took it, right? Yeah, sure did. I'm gonna stick CSI up all your asses! All of you! I want to know what happened to this shit! I'm done with this shit! I want you to account for everything here. I want you to find it. Find it! 48 hours! Are you all fucked? All of you! A hundred dollars a day ain't bad to be watching this white ruka, huh? Hey, Max Mercedes is gone. I think that chick slipped out on us, man. Peter, do you have some aspirin? Of course we do, ma'am. Miss Moscone, Detective Solano would like to see you. I don't think I'm ready for anything except my bed. I suppose my house is full of LAPD's fines. Well, it seems so. Everything's upside down. I mean, everything except... Except your boyfriend. He's not my boyfriend. We've only dated. Oh, well, I guess you call him a boy toy. How is he allowed to get away with all that? Oh, well, he does push the cart, doesn't he? Now, Miss Moscone, he wasn't there when we arrived, as you suspected. No, I suspect. He's a suspect. 
No way. I only met. So you don't think he has a motive? See, rapists, they don't have a motive. They have a drive, an overt sexual drive. And a sadistic rapist, he's addicted to anger. And the feeling of danger. The fact that he could get caught. That's what he's thinking about, getting caught. Or getting shot in the head, or getting smashed or squashed up against the wall. Like I said, anger management. Where do you suspect he might be? I mean, you said he has a job, so where does he work? He works at a car park, and I know he goes to school. And you know this? He told me he did. Okay, Los Angeles, you cut 50% of what people say. You take 10% of that, and it might be good, if you're lucky. Detective Solano, I'm sure it wasn't him. He's taller than the guy that tried to rape me. Okay, okay, good. So you're sure of this? Well, it seems so. Maybe the same. Sorry. I don't feel too well. Okay, that's all right. If you don't feel well, well, we can do this tomorrow. He's human. Oh, that's a matter of public opinion. <laughs> I mean, after 15 years of marriage, I think I'm a little biased. <laughs> Now you know, our personal lives, we don't bring it into this stuff. I didn't, and you're the one that kissed me. Okay. You're married? Oh my God, but her name is Smith. Well, yeah, she's a feminist, and uh, almost uh, getting married because of that. But I won't go into that right now. Well, somehow it makes me feel better. You just hear us at home, we both have to hide each other's gums. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's nice to see you smile after everything that you've been through. Thank you, Officer Smith. Thank you. <laughs> Dorothy. <gasps> Dorothy is fine. Dorothy, thank you for comforting me. Well, he gets a little shy in front of me, so I'll leave you both to your business. Sir, I'll be outside if you need anything. Oh, uh, you can let those two Latinos out of holding. That's the most ridiculously racist thing I've ever heard. I don't appreciate that comment. Okay, what should I say? But there's two suspects who are obviously innocent out of the slammer so they can get on with their lives. Okay, okay. I'm not gonna go up against two women alone without uh, backup. <laughs> so, Detective Solano, I want them to drive me home. I feel very comfortable with them. They make me feel very safe. The LAPD doesn't? That's the strangest request I've heard in my entire career. And trust me, I've had a long one. Or let those two jumping beans out. Yes, sir. I'm on it. Can I call you Conchetta? You may. So, Conchetta, CSI came back with the report of that rubber sample you tore from that freak. And it's strange, I'll tell you. Comes from a particular sex shop that makes this brand, and that shop is only in Japan. So, uh, that's a freak, as you would say, right? You know anybody from Japan? Maybe a customer? Oh, not that I remember. And the axe, that was, uh, came from Pasadena. You know anybody from Pasadena? Pasadena, that's in the valley, correct? Yeah, like you know any Armenians? What? <laughs> I'm sorry, that's an inside joke. Not a funny one. Okay. Look, my father was Italian, my mother was German. I think I'm entitled to a sense of humor. Sir, I don't know what people's races have to do with any of this. All right, I'm just trying to get to the end of this nightmare. I mean, the axe is made in Pasadena. The rubber samples from Japan. It just is a very strange combination. Anything else they find? No. You know, I, I don't feel good about you staying at your house. Can you stay with friends or maybe family? No, I mean, this going to be fine. As long as Bogart and Osko are near me, I won't ever trick them again, and I will let them stay closer to my house. Say what? Those are the two Mexican-American men you have in a holding cell that your wife is letting out. Those are my friends, and I really trust them. We're gonna get you out of this, all right? I promise, we're in East LA. We're gonna get you out. 
Yeah, you're right. I'm not gonna let this kill me. This is interesting. Can we stop? I love that music. Somehow reminds me of home. Latin, Latin conchera. Oh, I mean Miss Moscone. Sorry. Honey, I'm a stripper for goodness sakes. Conchera's fine. My pops used to bring me here every Saturday. They got the best sopa de pollo on the spot. Similar to Italian soup? Oh, I bet it's lovely. No, it's sopa de pollo, the best in town. You see, old school's like a celebrity in here. He don't speak much lately. Ah, uh, you know, old school, he sometimes gets like a little tiger. Tiger my ass, a fucking lion. All right, it's a deal, let's go. Muchacha eres tú, y tu cuerpo se mueve. Ay, ay, ay. Vamos. Que me derrito. No, me Yeah. Oh, uh, me is kind of like my daughter or something like that. I guess in Italian it's different. Mm. I love the soup. I am a, I'm an amor. Mm. Amor, right? Yes, now that's similar. Yeah, but Mexican, we like it slower. And our rhythm, our rhythm more smooth. <laughs> Okay. Oh, I got the text. I got it. Everything's handled. He's gonna stay at the, my mom's house. Also can stay in the couch. Are you sure? I mean, I don't want to put anyone out. Hey, it's the best thing. Whoever this motherfucker is, he wants to fly to and die. He ain't coming this part of town. He still lays off limits for freaks like that. Or he gets cat. L.A. style. Somehow I feel so secure here. I love the food and I love the people. They are so warm and nice, like Italy. What's the address, please? The Detective Solano made me promise. This is Los Angeles Street. Care to dance, senor? No thanks. I got your back. I don't play games when I'm watching people's back. I can imagine. Yes. Bogat? Of course, senorita. My pleasure. Todo lo llenas tú. Ay, 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 así me gusta. Ay, ay, ay. Esas canteras, pero qué requete bonita se mueve. Ay, 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 así, así. Vamos, me gusta. It's all perfect. Trust me. No disrespect, sir. But no cop could make me feel this secure. I don't want to feel like in a cage. These are wonderful people, and I really appreciate it. I probably take a week off work. Yes. Thank you, detective. It's so nice to hear your voice. Honey, are you all right? Well, after the Inquisition, I feel a little bit jaded. Yet I'm fine. My nose is still a little in pain, but uh, everything's good. I uh, really miss your voice. Oh, baby, you got my text, right? Yes, where you're staying, it's right next to my tia's. What? My aunt, she lives right around to where you are. Conchetta. Yes, honey? You know it's not me, right? Baby, 
never even came across my mind. I miss you. Te amo. Hey, if you're there long enough, I might lose you to a hot Latino. You are a hot Latino. <laughs> <laughs> oh, shit, that hurts. Max. Buenas noches. Okay, baby. See you soon. I don't need a man to know that. I don't need a man. I don't need a man. Tumble. Jack, I got you on speakerphone. Hey, what the fuck? Ay, muchachita. Pero que re guapa. Ese cuerpo. Así, así. Como me gusta. I'll take yourself home. Why don't you just sit down and have some ripples? Are you there, Tomboy? I said, are you there, Tomboy? What the fuck? I can't hear you. Maniac, quit being so hard on the goddamn phone. Tell me if you're still there. What's going on? Old school. Look at me. Mama said, no guns. I no business in this house. And you know to listen to her. Mia, sit down. Everything's okay. Sit down, sit down. Everything's okay. It's a good business. It's a good paying job. I'm gonna give mom that old car she's been wanting. But everything is okay. Charlie, this ain't right. When she gets back from church, don't think I'm letting her know. Do you hear this? Should we have to put up with? Oh, spaghetti. Bon appetito. What the fuck kind of music is that? Some Mexican and Mexican bullshit. Jack, you should have come yourself. Missing my famous spaghetti al verde. You sent Tomboy here. I must be special. Tomboy's here for business. I guess that means you pass on my spaghetti. Yeah, that's cool. Hey, my mom don't want any of this crap in her home. I want you out. Mia, 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 sit down. Everything's gonna be all right. We have it under control. Here's for your mother and for you and for all your troubles. And it's not gonna be long now. I feel like a piece of property. Nothing personal, Conchera. Puro negocio. I helped you out a lot. When you were inside, I put ducats in your prison fund every weekend for 10 motherfucking years. I made sure your kids were cool, right? I set you straight. Yeah, Jack, you helped us out a lot. That's why I'm doing this kid. I'm a loyal man. It's all cool. The problem you see, Shane works in a while. And everyone knows Conchetta is prime. When I lose prime, I don't get a dime. That ain't cool. So jump in front. You can come back. Jack, what she's been through, she's pretty bent up from last night, homie. I ain't your fucking homie. I'm a Republican. It's all about motherfucking finance, pal, now. I pay you guys good. I want her back to work. Hey, I have some say in this. I mean, Jack! Are you crazy? Better fucking shoot me, punk. Full guard blaster, full die gas all over the wall. I'm coming in for your skill. For guard price. Tombo, what the fuck? Did you just pull a gun? Did I say anything about pulling a gun? Did I? No. Sorry, Jack. The bitch was being disrespectful. Put it down. Put it down, now. I'm over here trying to tend to my shiny new car and you motherfuckers are running on my motherfucking parade. Let me tell you something. You wanna walk like a man? Talk like a man? I'll kick your ass like a man. I'll gender bender your fucking head. It's cool, it's cool. Look, Conchetta's fine. Look, I'm losing a lot of money these days. She ain't working. Conchetta, you know you're my number one. We talked about this. No pressure, listen. I want you, okay? I paid these guys lots of duggets. And I ain't no pimp. I 
tell you that. I treat my bitches good, don't I, town boy? Yeah, you do, Jack. Everybody knows that. Conchetta, baby, listen to me. I care for you as a person. I picked you up from that shelter where you couldn't even eat when you got here from Italy. And your parents couldn't even send you 200 bucks, remember that? Yes, Jack. I owe you, and I respect you. You know that. You've been good to me. But don't forget what I've done for you. Your club is now number one on top. You made a lot of targets with me. So I'm a good investment. You're a good businessman. I don't like this me back, my friend. I just need my Benjis, ladies and gentlemen. I understand, Jim. But if you could see my face, past it its heels is one week. As Tomba, it's a little screwed up. I gotta take a break. She ain't lying. I'm okay, Jack. I'll be all right. One week and I'll be back on the pole. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't be able to get my degree. I hold you in high regards, Jack. Pure and simple. Max, that dude's got some pelota coming to my town. Okay, guys, see you Monday. Weekends are free, and so am I. I'll be a monthly then. Yeah, Jack, it's him. He's here. And what the hell, Conchetta? That's the fucking cookie she likes to lick on. That's fucked. You can go out, but you can't work. Jack! I'm going to Tijuana for the first time in my life. You should be happy for me. A girl that's gone through what I have needs a break. One weekend get away. I'll be back Monday and we will make all kinds of targets for you next week. You boys cool down. I'm having some fun. Old school, follow her. To TJ? Bye. But my ass, that's just G's walking down the street. Got it, Jack. We on it. Oh. Finito, se col mondo I love Mexico! Thank you, honey. I feel alive again. Long way from home and away from all that insanity. I was so distraught. Thank you for bringing me here. Damn it! 
Clement, you gotta be kidding me. Baby, it's not my fault. I take care of you. Real. We've already established that you're the resident badasses, but can we get a little privacy, please? You want to go another round of that? Shadda, I ain't letting you ruin my Sunday meditation. Come on, guys, are you kidding me? <laughs> You've been on us all day. Oh, yeah, Latino stallion. We've been on you the whole fucking day, pendejo. What the fuck, guys? I came to America for freedom. I want my freedom. Mia, don't worry. Do what you gotta do. Consider us your new big daddy. I go back to the room and I'm staying till they catch that freak. I'm done with this crap. I'm an independent woman. I love you guys, but I want freedom. I'm losing my mind. Don't worry, Mia. Old school, I want my freedom. Guys, look. This crazy Ruka is losing her mind. She just needs a little time away from everything. Including you? Including me. Look, this Ruka, she isn't such an easy ride. Fuck off, we know what we're doing. Check this out. We ain't calling up the torpedoes until Jack says, so keep trucha, little gabachito, or Latino, whatever you are. Let's go, let's go. All right. Damn it, really? I mean... <sighs> How could you 
you let me get so close to the fire? Let me tie you up. And then nothing. I wanted to trust you, Max. It was my heart. It was my soul. It was my body. Where are you going? School. It could have been worth skipping. I'm so sorry. Max, it's not ready. Hey, guys, what's up? I love my Serino, but you know what? This doctor wants to go to the donut shop, and I ain't leaving you. Hey, I got some blood sugar problems, Conchetta. Can I just go grab a donut or something? Si, capisco. Hey, I heard that in a movie. Doesn't it mean I understand? Comprendo. Okay, well look, he's gonna stay here and I'll be back in 30 minutes, is that okay? Hey, you guys need both to leave. You know, whoever that was that did it to me is not around here. There's no damn chance in hell they know I'm here. So go and take a damn break. You both need it. I love you, boys. What are you officers here for? Post me for a gun? For a little joint? He's not an officer, old school. It's one of the highest decorated detectives in L.A. County, motherfucker! I'm impressed. Can I have his autograph? You know what, how about you... Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. He didn't do shit, man. Relax. I know who you are, old school. I know you a long time. I know what happened to you long ago, and I know who you used to work for. I know your uncle got his hand cut off. I think maybe I should just put a bullet in your ear. Can you imagine if I put a bullet in your ear? You're gonna live. But the rest of your life, you're gonna hear, wing, 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 wing. Is that what you want? No. So tell me what happened to all the pilots at the DEA joint. I know the band was involved. We know it. Hey, wait. This ain't even my ride. This is a loan out. Tell this punk to stop talking to me like a rookie. Hey, fuck you, Chorizo. Hey, come on, you better man. do more than you fuck up my hearing. Yeah, you're a fucking badass, right? Look at him. How about I just shoot your fucking dick off? Come on, take it easy on him, man. You know, them eight years he was down, he was innocent. You know the DA has something to do with that. That was eight years ago. And back then, we didn't have all this CSI, BSI, PSI, what is bullshit? We didn't have all those little pings. But now we do. And we know that this van was traced to the DEA facility near it, and we know it. So tell me what the fuck happened. I'm going to blow your face off. He doesn't know anything, man. Zero. They're clean. Let's go. Nick. Max? Uh, Hello? Oh, yeah, I'm just, uh, I'm calling to check in on you, honey. Detective Solano? That's my name, saving damsels in distress. It's my game. I'm in the bathroom now. Oh, well, listen, uh, Conchetta, I have some very, very serious information about Max, and it is urgent that we speak. So, can you call me back when you get out of the bathroom? Okay, yes. Okay. Max, I 
Are you okay? I lost my job today. I've been spending too much time on my social life. Max, you're only entitled to one personality in your life. I mean, usually. I've been spending too much time trying to get that pussy. What? Do you know what it's like? Detective, detective, mom, mom talks or something. Maybe he knows somebody around that area to see who took the car. Don't worry, we'll find mom's car, okay? Yeah, don't worry, don't worry. And in the meantime, what? Casi te comiste todas las zonas, cabrona. No, but mira, traigo los niños. Let me walk you to the car. Let me walk you to the car. Let's come on. You know, they were crying. They were bleeding. Ah, come on. ever sleep? May I help you, detective? You've got to see this. Jack? I can't believe it. Lots of corruption, man. From Mexico to Los Angeles, lots of dirty bastards. I guess you lost your war, Jack. Excuse me. Oh, it's really just something between me and Jack. I just wanted to let you know, Detective Montauk and I are always here for you if you need us. 
Thank you, Detective Davidson. Goodbye. Arrivederci. I'm gonna miss you crazy enough. <laughs> Sir, Officer Michaels, is it possible we can leave this for Detective Solano? What is it? It's pretty important, sir. We got a tip from some people in the hood who knew Max before he... Took an exit? Yeah, before he exited the stage and left. Cut the crap, Fatos. I got a report to write. What is it? Sir, you see this DVD? It is a DVD of the night that Max worked. We have footage of Concepta. I mean, Miss Bacconi. was almost raped the first time. In other words, it was impossible that Max did the crime. He was working. We got proof of it on DVD. Why didn't you call Detective Solano? Why didn't he answer? We went by Conchetta's house to check on her. We went to her house, went to the living room. There's flowers all over the living room. All right, I'll get an APB on her. Open Detective Solano's door, put it on his desk, and shut it. OK, officer. Locator on the street somewhere. Okay. Check the slip and slide club. We got the streets covered. You were right, Theo. You were right about Max. He's nothing but a drunken crab. He's not the real rapist. I'm always right, though, All All right, Theo. We gotta find this chick. She got a big corazón, Theo. We gotta find this cop. That's the least we can do, Theo. Ain't nothing a Sino can't do. I know a guy that killed her husband. He's got address to all these detectives. In case he has to put one down. Man, you you always coming through, homie. Hey, I'm man. always on point. Hey, <laughs> gonna for the good little girl. If you do, no, he will take off your gun. <laughs> rapes and tortures do you know how many of those i've been involved with i've had to investigate i've had to endure you know what that does to a cop's mind it's in my mind it makes me want it. it makes me fantasize about it. it makes me dream about it and you know what you little bitch you cost me millions two million dollars to be exact and that was my cut you had your goody two shoes Montauk and Davidson sniffing up my ass, and your boy got busted. Well, you cost me two million dollars, and that was my cut, you fucking bitch. <laughs> All we had to do was get that to the Japs in Long Island, and you fucked it up. Well, we're gonna make up for that. You're gonna pay me back. We're gonna make 200 grand off of you with a snuff film. Snuff film? No, let me tell you what a snuff film is. 
That's where I fuck you and I kill you on camera. <laughs> <laughs> and then we sell it to the Japs. No! Yes! Them little Japs gonna be looking at you, jerking off their little spring rolls, drinking sake. <laughs> 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 I used to get so angry when I was younger. He used to have to visit the strip clubs. <laughs> I'd get so angry, I'd be so jealous. Yeah, I used to be such a good girl. But you know, after a while, I couldn't climax without more and more and more. Oh, I remember when he used to visit you in the strip club. You probably don't remember. He was incognito <laughs> in a big hat and a big beard. He'd bring pics of you home. <laughs> You bring pics of you, huh? They both got off on you. <laughs> you ruined my marriage, Miss Blondie. You pay. Oh, you pay. <laughs> Fucking odds. <laughs> you boss, you won't go and change forever. This is insane. <laughs> you are police. They won't go hard on you. <laughs> no, baby. No, baby. They won't. You're all wrong. You don't seem to understand the judges, the lawyers, the cops, all the black robes. We're all together. We're all deep in the dark side. And authorities take care of authorities. You can torture me. You can kill me. You can rape me. But you will never get away from the law. You bastard! Hello. Over. Yeah, what's up? Officer Michaels. Man, I'm telling you, Detective Michaels, I know Detective Solano's involved, man. If you're scared, I'm not. He wasn't at his home, and Conchetta's now nowhere to be found. I need your help. If I'm wrong, you have a bad week. But if I'm right, and you don't do nothing fast, your whole department is screwed. But just tell me where he goes, anywhere, hotels, bars, anywhere. I just need to know where he's at. Anywhere. Listen here. You didn't get this from me. You got it? Come on, of course, man, I know. That's it right there. That's it? That place looks freaky as hell. Eh? I ain't going in there without a piece. I got a couple donuts back there for you. But I... Oh God, you're okay? Yeah, everything's all feeling, homie. Hey man, what's up with that light, man? Hey man, I'm sorry, we just ran out of gas. Do you know where there's a gas station around here? You know what, if you go down there right, you, there's like one right there on the right side. Oh, shit! Oh, 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 oh. Where are your balls now? Jack ain't here to save you. Listen, listen, that's Detective Solano's house. Conchetta's in there, help her. Conchetta? She played me bad. Just like men bullshitting their way out of a beating. Tomboy, let my nephew go. Tio, don't worry about it. If I have to go, I have to go. Un puro desmadre. Look at you macho pigs, die so manly. Look at you idiots. You're both gonna bleed all over each other's macho eaten war torn asses. You ain't no woman. You're the fucking devil. <laughs> Dio! Freeze, bitch! <laughs> Davidson! Dio. Sorry. Oh, Old school. Sorry. How did you know we were here? They had CSI gadgets on. Six months we've been following this cycle. Dio. Sorry about your uncle, man. I know him a long time. I, I, knew, I knew your father a long time. Listen to me. Don't say a fucking word about this. You hear me? Take the gun. Finish her off. Okay. Fucking nasty bitch. Listen. That house on the right over there with the light on, 
They got Conchero. They're gonna kill her. She's there. Okay, you stay here. Oh. You stay here. Okay. I got backup. Come, Dixon. I got backup. Stay here. Oh. <laughs> And a Mexican standoff, Mexicans always win. I'm sure that old school will have the last lap. Everybody knows you're a lousy shot. You couldn't hit the ass of an elephant. Come on out, bossy. All right, puppy dog. Come on out, bossy. Solano, let me jump in the sick Let me sick No, nah, you're not jumping in there. I'm gonna fucking kill you, and I'm gonna jump in, and I'm gonna fuck him. <laughs> I can get you out of this, let me jump in! It happened, you asshole.
sent to solo love.